Hello everyone, Irfan Zardat Khan from Javelin Technologies. So I have been asked this question a number of times and that is if I have a face that is tilting and I want to know the angle of tilt on that face, what would be the easiest way to use SolidWorks uh, simulation to find that angle? Unfortunately there is no direct way to measure the angular displacement in this case. So what I'm going to do is, so I have already run the study. Uh, let's go back and look at our displacement. What I will do is I will change it to true scale just to show you that there is some deflection on this face. And I want to know by what angle this face has tilted. So although there is no direct way to measure, but we'll use a bit of trigonometry and try to see how we can actually figure out that angle. So first of all let's find a face that was parallel to the original face that we had in this case it's going to be the right plane so that plane was parallel to the face in its original shape before deforming so what I will do is under result I'll create a new displacement plot and in this case I want to find the displacements normal to that plane and for those of you who know the UX and UY, if I choose the reference plane, are the in-plane displacements, whereas UZ is the, the displacement normal to that plane. And I will also make sure I change the chart options to be just a general number. Hit OK. And there you have it. What I see is I find the displacements in the normal direction. So it's positive for one face and it is negative for one face. Uh, so it's 1.94 millimeter on the top of the face and it is again 1.94 but in the opposite direction on the bottom face. So let us see what this means. So let us, let me just bring this over and tell you something. Let us assume the red line here represents my original, oh sorry, the green line represents my original deformed face and the, the long red line over here represents the tilted face now. So right now what we have found is this distance and that distance. So we know these two distances which have been offset in the uh, z direction relative to that plane. S and I know that this overall length represents my original height of that uh, beam. So sine theta should be that distance or the, the net distance, the sum of these two distances divided by the overall length. Let's go and see what that gives us. So we have 1.94 here and minus 1.94 here. Uh, so it's going to be a total of a total displacement, net displacement, will be 1.94 minus negative 1.94 and that will give us the sum of the two and that's going to be 1.94 times 2, 3.88 millimeters. Now the original height of the beam we can go back to our model and just have a look at the dimensions and we see that the original height of the beam is 75 millimeters. So going back to our notepad, my edge is 75 millimeter. So here it means that sine of that angle, let's call it x, is 3.88 divided by 75. So let's find what that number is. So that's going to be 0 0.0517. So let's verify that if that is correct. And that is the sign of the angle. 0 0.05173 and if I want to find x in this case which is the angle in degrees all I do is I take find the sine inverse of that 
number and I get that x is equal to so that's the tilt on that face this is what we just calculated using our uh, assumptions that we have now let's go back and try to find it another way and this might not be possible if we were trying to do it in a more complex model and that is the ability to find or to save my deformed body so let's create a body from deformed shape we'll call it my deformed shape so what I'm going to do is create a configuration which will be saving my deformed body and let's go back to the model so the current configuration is the deformed body uh, what I will do is I will create uh, a plane uh, using three points on the edges of this beam hit OK and what I will do is I'll pick that plane and I will pick the right plane and I will hit measure and between those two planes I get the angle and the angle is exactly 2.96 degrees so we were also able to confirm the assumptions we made are correct hope you will find this tip useful enjoy